Greetings programs, today's Brando review is of the 2015 Talking BB-8 Astromech Droid from the Disney Store. Let's do this, this guy has a price point. It used to be 30 bucks, then it went up to 35, I think. I think I got this guy for 35, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's been a while, it's been like a couple months since I bought this. I knew once I saw it on the shelf at the Disney Store, I had to buy it because I'm pretty sure it was gonna be sold out. A lot of kids like BB-8 including myself, who's pretty much a big kid anyway, has 17 plus sound effects. It's Talking BB-8, and I watched this British guy who did a review of this that pretty much sold me it because there's a couple BB-8s. There's like the Sphero one that's like $120, $150, $60, whatever it much it costs. And it's like this little dinky thing, and then you use your phone to control it. I think that's stupid because phones are not going to be around forever. It's not like a regular IR remote control controller which we could be around forever. With phones, you know, an app might be gone, or you upgrade your phone and there's a new operating software and you're kind of screwed after probably, I don't know, say 10, 15 years or so. So something new is gonna come out today. This guy doesn't have remote control at all. He kind of just like responds to your commands apparently. Like this guy was like, BB-8, come here. So we're gonna try that out. <laughs> so you have a little circle here at the top. It says, try me with a little button. So we're gonna press it and show you the try me button options. So you see he rotates and he has his light right there. Projector light and stuff lights up. Also, down there is a little cutout so you can hear him better. This is right at the beginning. So, we have here a Disney Store logo, ages three and up. This is Astro Mac Droid, BB 8, Star Wars says warning 17. This is a sticker, 17 plus sound effects. You can see inside clear window on this side, half window, half box. From the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens, the Star Wars logo down there. It's all red and black, same old Disney Store stuff. So, text, text, sound activated, activation button. Of course, I already just showed you that. It says button mode to move a BB-8. I guess it's somewhere. I guess it's on top. Then I guess mode 2 is sound activation to move BB-8. So, yay! And then BB-8's head and body move. And it has little tracks. I'll show you here in a second. It says choking hazard, blah, blah, blah. Usually they have... Uh, like a little sticker taped on here for instructions and they don't have anything like that. It says requires four AA batteries included. Good. Thank you. Jesus. This toy is made in China. On this side, window, Star Wars logo, nothing else. And I showed you the top right there. It says try me. And uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. So kids, uh, make sure your parents are the ones that uh, help you with this. Well, let's unbox this. All right, before I take them apart, we got instructions. We got instructions. That is not helpful at all, Disney. Put in his antennas, and then that's it. What the hell? You gotta have more than this, guys. Come on. All right, so we got BB-8 here. Let's take BB-8 and put his antennas on. Cool. There we are, BB-8. Let's get measurements. BB-8 stands at about... Nine nine and a half eh, nine and a half ish to the top of the head top of the big antenna is about well, probably 11 and a half ish uh wide and depth of course because he's a circle he's about seven inches so pretty good size this is a very nicely sized heavy 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 bb-8 so before i do this electronics and change up the stuff i'll just talk about the sculpt and everything it's really nicely sculpted it's heavy it's got decent paint, you know, he's got his orange, he's got his silver, he's got his like off-white. And it's not that dirty, but you can see mine, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it has some nice dirt. It's got some nice detailing, some brushings. Right here on the side you got the Try Me 1, 2, and Off. He has his little projector thing right here, his eyeball. He has another light type deal right there. I don't, you know, know Astrotech Astromech droids, so I don't know the official terminology. There's the two antennas. And I really like how the button is concealed right there. I put it back in try me mode. Kind of sucks. You can't do anything about the try me mode on offs. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screw holes on this side. This side, if you just want to display him, looks amazing. He does look great. Besides this button and the speakers. And that speaker, I think that's a speaker. Or maybe that's the microphone for the uh, voice activation stuff. You can see here in the bottom this really big white track, pretty much move them around. I'm assuming these two areas are the battery compartments for those screw holes. This is a nicely detailed product and it's really heavy. 
So I like him a lot. He looks pretty good, and I think he's a little great piece to leave on your desk or for kids to play with. And I guess, you know, from right here, button activation mode and sound activation mode, you know, mode one and mode two, which is the, you know, the flips. So that is your pretty much instruction manual. There are no little pieces of paper to show you. You just have to remember this stuff that's on the back of the box. So remember that stuff that's on the back of the box. If you want to move around, push him on the top of his head. So let's put him on sound. Let's be quiet and not say oh. I love you, BB-8. Oh, yes. I love you. <laughs> Where are you going, BB-8? <laughs> I love this thing now. This is awesome. Ah! We're gonna take him to the carpet. All right, we're at the carpet, BB-8. Do something. BB-8, do something. BB-8, do something. BB-8. 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 Hey, this guy's a bum. Maybe he automatically shuts down. Where are you going? He kind of struggles on carpet, it seems. Where are you going? I'm right here, come here. Come here. Yo. There you are. He moves a little uh, slower on carpet. I'm assuming he moves very fast on hardwood because he moved really fast in the studio there. Uh. Might need a reset because you're on the rug, buddy. BB-8, come here! BB-8! You're going the wrong way! Is he farting? I really like the idea of having like a mind of its own sound controlled robot rather than you control it. it kind of has its like own AI type of deal. But uh, it's a little underwhelming, but then again, it's only like $35, so. Buddy, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You wanna give me a hug? Hey, you bumped into me, you moron. <laughs> where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You coming towards me again? Where are you going, BB-8? At least it had some recognition and uh, it knew to back up after. I mean, my Zoomer and Dominus did that. That's like a $100 toy, so. So it's not bad for a $35 robot, essentially. BB-8, go to your room. Now you're caught in a chair. Maybe just say BB-8 and it does stuff. BB-8! Go backwards, BB-8. Yeah, uh-oh is right. Go backwards. Now you're caught in the rug. I think he shut down. Reset. I wish it would... Oh, man, come on. I know I have a lot of obstacles. Yeah, sorry, buddy, but learn how to walk or roll, however you look at it. BB-8. One thing I do like, I guess, is he seems to know where the sound is coming from, so he kind of heads in that direction. It seems just like me, my experience, but I think that's really awesome. BB-8. He must be caught up on the carpet. Yeah, you're caught up on the carpet. Come here, BB-8. BB-8. Keep pushing. Oh, there you go. Now come towards me. BB-8. I wish it was more responsive. BB-8, come here. So he seems to have a little bit of struggles going forward on carpet, but not so much going backward on carpet. All right, so we're in the kitchen, and he's doing a dance. 
I know, what are you doing? You're... <laughs> Come this way. Yeah, oh, destroying the cabinets. What? BB-8, what are you doing? There you go. It seems if he stops, he does that little, whoa, and then he finally uh, gets his act together. BB-8! Yeah, this thing's smart, man. It, uh, it responds. BB-8, come here. BB-8, what are you doing? You're doing a dance? You're crazy. What are you gonna do, BB-8? What are you doing? What? Why am I talking to BB-8 like my dog? Patrol the area, BB-8. Patrol the area, BB-8. So if you want electronic stuff and he doesn't move, leave him and try me. So you just press the top of his head, he moves his head, and he does not move his track. And if you want to move his track, one and two are acceptable. Obviously one being buttons. I still haven't figured out what this button is. I, I don't know, but no, that must be used for something. Maybe it's uh, a bumper, but then again, there aren't any other bumpers here. Maybe it's just a bumper for the front because this is the track and this lines up. So maybe if like he runs into something, that's the bumper that says to the electronics inside to go, oh, I have to back up. And then he backs up. That's the only thing I can think of. It's like a cushion type of deal. And then two, obviously, is sound activated. He's just gonna start moving around. So my ideal thing is keep him and try me, keep him on my desk. And then when I feel down, I'd be like, BB-8, talk to me. And I'd be like, oh, you're so cute. So anyway, <laughs> out of 10, I was flirting with a seven and then he started moving around on the hardwood in the kitchen. And I'll probably give him an eight. I really do like this guy. As you see, he's uh, possibly not standing straight up as a display piece, which is a no. I guess it's fine because you can think of him as he's moving around. Oh, well. For some reason, he wants to move forward. Put like a rock or something underneath here. <laughs> and he'll stay. Final score out of 10. Man, this is hard. Give him the eight, I don't care. BB-8 my favorite. This is only 35 bucks. Hopefully it doesn't keep going up and up and up. And it seems to be okay. It's you know not in super intelligent, huh? but uh, it obviously has authentic movie sounds. It's really heavy, the sculpt's nice besides, you know, some flaws of the screw holes and this bumper and the speaker. Other than that, this is really cool. It looks just like them, and it'd be a really cool display piece in my opinion. I think it's cool. So why not? Eight out of ten. It gets the loved it seal of approval. Thanks guys very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe way down below as well to stay tuned for the latest and the greatest of this channel. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of this Talking BB-8? Have you picked up this Talking BB-8? Are you interested in it? So I think kids will enjoy it. And if you're an adult collector like myself, I think it'll look really cool on the shelf, especially compared to all the other offerings we have to collect BB-8 as, which is pretty much slim and none in Slim Left Town. So thanks guys very much for watching. And if you dislike this video, we apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you for choosing CRS. You may be BB-8 sad if you dislike this video. I know, we like our subscribers. Thank you. Guys, have a great day. Bye. Let's see if we can just get them off set here. And there's the bottom. Got some screw holes. You're going to have probably a couple screw holes here. Probably in the back of the arms. There's one for the jetpack. It really sucks. But to get to the battery compartment. Holy sh...